Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying happy and healthy, and loving your loved ones. In this episode, I am going to talk to you guys about pesticides and pest control and the regimen that I use to keep my really small um, indoor space with a few plants, um, how I keep my environment pest-free, bug-free, insect-free, okay? So, so that I can enjoy my plants without enjoying the bugs uh, that uh, may naturally come with them. So the reason why I've stuck with this particular regimen is that uh, it's been the most effective for my time, for my effort, uh, for my money, so, so that's why I've stuck with it. Okay, so it's um, yeah, it's it's just the easiest and most effective way to deal with bugs that that I found. So let's let's just get to it. Okay, it's a, it's gonna be a it's a three ingredients, three things that you need. So so the first thing the first thing I use is is this guy. Oh, all the all the things that I um, all the products that I recommend the three the three products I'll put in the description with links to my Amazon associate page. So you know if you want to buy through that and you know help support the channel that would be that would be great. But um, so so the first one is Azimax, uh, and this is an insecticide, miticide, nematodicide. <laughs> okay, so this should basically kill anything that. That wiggles um, on your plants, right? Highly, highly, highly recommend this um, as a max. Okay, highly, highly recommend. Must, must get this, right? If you, if you guys are thinking about what kind of pesticides at all, right? Any pesticide. Um, if you're just like using any pesticide at all, it, it should be as a max, or as a max should be considered. Okay, and then this is my um, the second one. This one that I have is, uh, I think you should more focus on the, the ingredient, is uh, bifenthrin, which is a, um, well, this also, this also kills things that wiggles and moves on your plants. Uh, so, so I use this in addition to the Azimax. I use this as a secondary agent specifically for um, the spider mites, even though this kills, I'm sure this kills the other stuff as well. But spider mites are, you know, a huge problem and I get them, you know, every once in a while. I prefer to do a, a double therapy, right? Like in medicine, if you just use one uh, one medication against a drug, we call it like a monotherapy. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you add another one in, it's, you know, dual multi-therapy, whatever. So I, I use this, you know, as a second line agent, a secondary agent against spider mites, uh, because I really, really hate <laughs> spider mites, right? Um, is the second one necessary? Uh, I can't say for sure. I can't tell you for sure that it is, right? I can't tell you for sure that this is um, this is vital to your pesticide regimen. Uh, I remember I had this uh, pretty good sized spider mite infestation that I was just, I noticed it and I was just like so lazy or distracted or something else. And then the, the infestation got out of control. And so that's why like when I really got on it, I, I got this one to kind of like do in addition. So I'm, you know, I think that if I was more on top of things, if I wasn't lazy, if I didn't let it get, things get out of control, uh, and also probably if I didn't panic, uh, I probably would not have needed this and probably would not have even tried this. So yeah, it's, it's up to you guys whether or not um, you think that a secondary agent like something like this is is necessary, uh, but uh, the the second I chose this as a second agent secondary agent specifically because of uh, its uh, of its effect against spider mites in particular because I feel like the, that's one of like one of the hardest to kill, um, millibugs some other stuff like I I feel like those are more easily managed uh, than spider mites so that's my the second product that I recommend. And then this is the third product. This third product, um, you don't really have to specifically get this one. This is a fungicide, so it acts against fungus. I just got this because this was sort of the first fungicide I, I clicked, you know, I picked <laughs> when I started, and it's been fine so far. So I've just kind of like kept with it. But if you're using another fungicide that is working for you or you find like the cheaper one, just get the cheapest one, okay? Just like in terms of fungicide, fungicides are so effective against fungus that if you use them correctly that you just really need the cheapest one, right? Don't don't waste, save as much as you can on the, on the fungicides, okay? 
Okay, so, so what do I do? What do I do? I do systemic therapy as well as um, I spray them. I don't know what, 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 what the scientific term of that's uh, tropical or topical therapy. Topical, yeah, topical therapy, right? Like on top of the leaves and the plants, right? So, so we do systemic therapy to, uh, uh, into the soil, into the, the pots. I guess it's hard to say systemic, really, because, um, because that implies, right, because I think systemic implies that it's getting like absorbed into the plants, maybe. But um, realistically, if you just put these uh, pesticides into the soil, it's really just addressing the microflora, the biome, and the, you know, the, the stuff that's in the soil, and not necessarily like, it's not really getting into, into your plant. Right? So I don't know, I don't know if systemic, even though we use that word is, is a appropriate word. But <laughs> either way, so I, um, I put one capful of each into uh, this thing. It's a one gallon, this is a one gallon watering pot. And I use one capful. And by one capful, what I mean is that I take a, uh, this cap, I pour it, I fill this cap, and then I put it in, right? So, uh, so this means that, that means that this one can gets one cap of this guy, one cap of this guy, and then, you know, one cap of this guy, okay? So that means uh, one cap each into this one gallon watering pot. And this is what I would use to water my plants with every, I would say every one to two months. I think if, if, I, were, if I were good at this regimen, I would do it every one to two months. You can probably space it to two to three months, um, but I think that like after three months, I think pests do start popping up, especially like uh, the, the fungus gnats, okay? So, um, so that's kind of, that's, that's what I recommend for the systemic or, you know, into the soil. So uh, watering with the, the two pesticides and the fungicide once every one to three months. Okay, I'll, I'll defer that to, to you guys. Oh, so before we uh, get further along, uh, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is this online learning community that has thousands of classes to help you guys become more creative and more successful in your creative endeavors. Quite a few of you have asked me about, you know, starting their own YouTube channels. You know, Skillshare will really, really help you guys, you know, making those dreams a reality. So one of the classes that I'm currently taking is called Filmmaking on a Budget, Tips for Achieving a Cinematic Look. It's by Simon Code, and he's a filmmaker or production person, and he's giving really, really good tips on how to make better YouTube videos on a low budget. So they have tons of classes on illustration, graphic design, photography, um, film and video production, basically everything you guys need to get better at trying to be creative and sharing that creativity with you know the rest of the world. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click in the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore and express your creativity. And then for the topical, right? For the topical therapy, uh, I spray it onto the leaves. So I have a, I, I have like a half, I have a half gallon um, a spraying bottle thing and I do one cap each of, of the products into the spraying bottle, right? So that means that the concentration I water with is half the concentration that I spray with. Or in other words, I, I double the concentration when I'm spraying, okay? Um, and, and this is because when, when you're watering uh, with the pesticides, uh, what you're really, really just mostly addressing is the, the fungus gnats, right? The, the larva, the eggs or whatever, before it, you know, before they mature, they're like flying all over the place, right? Um, the, top, the, trop, the topical therapy, which, which you're spraying, um, that's a lot more important against your, your mealybugs, right? Your, um, your spider mites, right? Especially the spider mites, right? Especially the spider mites. Uh, I think uh, in terms of spider mites, right? Those are more dangerous. They're more harmful to your plants. Um, and they also like, they get out of hand super, super quickly, right? So, um, so yeah, definitely just, you know, spray, spray all your plants, all your leaves um, with the, the, the three solutions, 
once a month, right? That's my recommendation, guys. If you spread it out to two months, uh, like I do most of the time, uh, occasionally you will run into spider mite problems, okay? So uh, once a month is what I recommend. Once every two months to three months is kind of what I do, and I, I, I pay the price. <laughs> For that, um, so so the topical the, the when you're misting your plants when you're spraying the plants that's that's where this guy plays the most action okay because when you're misting your plants when you know I whenever I do it I'm really really soaking my plants right it's like it's, it looks like a a rainforest after a rainstorm okay like all the leaves. Uh, basically everything is just like dripping, dripping wet. So um, because there's so much uh, moisture uh, and you know there's so much uh, yeah basically moisture and wetness on the leaves, there's a high chance of bacterial and fungal overgrowth, right? So so that's kind of what this guy does, right? I think that so this guy will address the the fungus overgrowth. That's you know when the water is just stagnant and and sitting on your leaves and it's not evaporating uh, fast enough, right? And this is like when your leaves has like crevices, and most leaves will have some crevice or somewhere where the water can sit or hang and and just linger. So that's kind of what the that's kind of what the the fungicide is for, right? For preventing the the leaf browning, the leaf burning uh, from fungal overgrowth that comes from uh, stagnant water. What else do I have to say? Um, <clears throat> regimen, 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 right? Like that is the number one, the number one preventing thing. That's how you prevent bugs. That's how, that's how it works. You have to just keep on it. You know, you're super, super busy and, or you just don't want to or whatever. Uh, you can space it out, you can. But what I would highly advise in that sense is that don't go more than, three months, right? Don't go more than three months because I assure you, you are going to pay the price, right? Even if you're not buying more plants, you're not changing your collection, you're not, um, you know, adding more plants that increases the risk of new bugs going in. Uh, I can assure you that you're going to pay the price, uh, you know, if you you wait, you know, three months or longer. The, the second thing is that if you ever see a, you know, a spider mite or a, uh, or a fungus net, you know, flying around, right? Like, when you see your first one, when you see your first web of the spider mite, right? When you see your first fly, that's like act, right? Definitely act then, because I assure you, I have not acted. I have waited, right? It's like, oh, it's yeah, it's only one gnat, or the other one's like, oh yeah, it's only like it's only one strand. It could be a regular, you know, spider. It's it's not, it's always a spider mite. And that one gnat always turns into like 20 gnats. So um, yeah, as soon, as soon as you, you see your gnat, as soon as you see your web, um, as soon as you basically just see any bug, it's, um, you know, the, the bug infestation, the infestations just kind of go like this, right? They're not like, doo, 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 doo. no, right? They're, they're like, right? They just like ramp up within, I don't know, days hours <laughs> i don't know uh but as soon as you you notice your first sign of an infestation as, you, as soon as you notice your first bug uh you know definitely act act then all right so um guys if you guys like the content um if you guys want to support the channel buy a plant t-shirt and uh, all the links to the products and also the shirt is in the description uh like comment support share and uh that's it for this episode until next time guys happy planting